Everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining your virtual drinking buddy. So tonight on the menu, I got another offering of what you would. So it never fails when I record in the living room. My dogs wait until I'm recording, and then they're like, "Oh, now I'm gonna go walking across our hardwood floor." And our vehicle sounds like a stampede of one, and so that's why she did that because she just wanted to, wanted to get it. And she was laying over on the other couch looking like she didn't have care in the world, like she might take a nap, and I start talking, she's like, yep, now's to the time. Here we go. So, now that that little hiccup is out of the way, <clears throat> I would like to get to tonight's beer, which I got from Beer Drop. This is Reels End, and this is Flying Umbrella Hazy IPA. Reels in Brewing is out of Broomfield, Colorado. Um, so like up north of Denver, just a little bit, uh, more or less in the Denver area. Um, so yeah, if you're in the Denver area, not too far of a drive. So if you're going to vacation there, or whatever would take you to Denver if you're not in the area, um, shouldn't be too hard to find. Um, and so, like I said, uh, Flying Umbrella is a hazy IPA. Uh, what they have to say about it is, on the website it has 6.8%, but on the can, I'm sure it says, yep, 7.1. Um, not much of a difference, but a little bit of a difference. Maybe, uh, like, like I said before, maybe things change as they get a few batches under their belt. So... Anyway, it's a softly bittered hazy IPA with flavors such as ripe mango, stone fruit, pineapple, and citrus. Well, let's crack this feller open and see what we're dealing with here. It smells just a little hoppy. It's pouring a nice light golden color. Uh, a little bit of a white head on it. Oh, there's a little bit more. Oh, there's a lot more. Okay, I'm gonna give it a second. That's my beagle getting in on the action again. She's just trying to, to add to the uh, the score, I think. Just add some uh, mood music. Oh. And that little try you heard was a chihuahua. Back and forth. If you just want to be in the video, you, you two could come over here and calmly sit near me. Are you good? Because you keep walking back and forth for no reason. All right, I think you're good. Uh, definitely pick up some bitter hops. Mm, a little bit of a free flavor, not much. Um, I pick up the pineapple more than anything. And the the head tickles my nose just a little bit. Um, so yeah, the head started out pretty good. It's, uh, it's probably cut in half here pretty quickly. Definitely hazy. I cannot see through it, but it's got a nice golden yellow color. Well, there's only th one thing left to do. Cheers. Oh, that's really good. Um, not overly bitter, it's just so barely bitter. Just a hint of bitterness. Uh, and the fruit flavors, um, I don't know, they, they kind of blend together into kind of one flavor, more like a, uh, a fruit punch of sorts. Um, not to say that it tastes like a fruit punch per se, but I don't know, there's a little sweetness there from the fruit. It's just, it's not overwhelming. A really easy drinking beer. Goes down really easy. Goes down really easy. Maybe a little too easy. I don't know, we'll find out. But at 7.1% or even 6.8%, like the website says. Um, 
Wouldn't take a lot of those to get you feeling good, so it's probably a good thing I only have two of them. Because like I said, really, really tasty. Um, and none of the flavors are intense. It goes down real smooth. Um, and like food pairing wise, I don't know, I think it'd go pretty well with like some seafood or something spicy. Um, that would be my personal preference. I better have one more drink to see if there's anything else I can think to say about it. Nope, that's pretty much it. It's a tasty beer. Again, um, this is Flying Umbrella by Rails End, and they're out of Broomfield, Colorado. So if you're in the area, check them out. Or if you're a member of Beer Drop, um, you can always get it through them. Well, if you liked what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe button below. And this is the Molten Gentleman reminding you, you only have one lover, so use it wisely.